welcome again to Afronix. Our last tutorial was a basic one on which um, we were introduced to various parts of um, Virtuous 8.12, how to select component from the library, so on and so forth. So today we are going to see how we can simulate oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. Um, I do have troubles in pronouncing that word so if I get it correct just comment in the comment section that yeah you got it if not then try to enlighten us okay this was the circuit we connected the last class okay I want to move this circuit to a particular point so when I'm moving it i have to make sure that i highlight the whole area clicking the outside drag the, the cursor across the circuit now i've highlighted this part so i'll just click and then try you can move it around the editing window at any part you like okay i would like to bring it here so see it will automatically come here so i click outside then it has it is no longer highlighted then next let us find oscilloscope and you can find this component at the visual or virtual instrument mode that is here virtual instrument mode we have oscillos oscilloscope here so I click bring it here outside let us drop it here good okay so we want to simulate and see how the current is being moving the kind of the amount of current entering here and how the waveform is okay so let us use channel C we have the channel A to channel D so let us use channel C okay that is our channel and let us run this circuit and see how the waveform looks like so when playing you come to the this play button at the bottom left hand corner just click play then this will appear this digital oscilloscope window will appear so we are using channel C so let us deactivate the other channels by putting them off so you have to bring this knob to off for channel a the same thing for channels you know we are using channel c the same thing for channel b off d also off and mind you this um for channel c we are using dc right so it is a direct current just click on dc then it is not dc let us bring it to the center Okay, by bringing it to zero okay good so at zero it is now at the center right good. so let us reduce the speed by reducing the speed you can bring it here so it is running at microsecond so you can come this way see how the current is been moving in the circuit is going direct this is what we call a direct voltage a direct current right it is direct it is not um, alternating okay that's why they call it DC direct current so let us say you accidentally or you mistakenly close this window how can you retrieve it again like if you close it and then you stop it if you play again the window will not appear so how can i get the window you just have to hit on to this debug from the debug go right down you see it here digital oscilloscope click on it it will appear again all right so now let us stop this and then let us now connect ac and see how it works come to component mode go for libraries next we we have to we have different um ac voltage sources so today we are going to use alternator just click alternator okay here it is okay so i just have to double click it 
is now here so and then next i have another component i'll be looking for that is lamp let us use lamp as the load L -A -M -P. okay here is our lamp say okay so the window is being closed now let us take our alternator bring it down connect it like this dc voltage and then this the lamp we will use the lamp as the load just like how we used um, the led as the load for this okay so you connect we are now used to how to connect eh? connect this one also good so here is our circuit and then let us use channel a to determine this but so if we use channel a then let us fix it here okay so channel a to determine the ac then channel um, c to determine the dc okay so now let us hit on the play button and see how it works okay let us click okay now we can see the dc voltage is still moving what happened remember with the activated channel a so we have to click on channel a to come to come on so and in this case we are using ac so you have to click at the ac top bring this knob to ac boom we are seeing now how the alternating current is being moving let me draw your attention to one of the most important part of this which is now let us take a closer look at this as we can see this is an alternating current that means it is blinking on and off on and off on and off which means it will go to positive high cycle then it will go to negative half cycle positive half cycle negative half cycle so that is what is happening here which is on off on off on off okay now that this is going so you see we can see how the waveform is moving so now let us drop channel c a little bit down so that we can visualize the that. okay let's stop it there so let us bring channel a a little bit down so that we can see so we are seeing the speed if you want to increase the peak of the the wave you just have to adjust here you can see the peak you can increase the peak okay this is the top peak the positive half cycle and then here is the negative half cycle okay if you want to reduce it can reduce it to this form using this knob okay so increase you can take it up to this point okay so let us leave it like this for better visualization right so the speed is also been adjusted here yeah? okay now next let us see you see this one is not that much bright okay and it is blinking on and off on and off on and off okay now let us see something let me stop and then let us go back to editing mode let us edit this uh, alternator click on it right click edit or you double click on it you can edit it okay so we can see that the amplitude of the wave it is six voltage right but at this time we don't want to use six voltage and then the frequency here is one hertz okay. and we know in using voltage ac voltage in some african countries or it could be even asia in asia they are using um 230 voltage right and also in africa like my country to be precise in Sierra Leone, we use 240 voltage okay so today let us just use 230 okay 230 voltage and the frequency in most of these um, developing countries they are using a fre uh, frequency of 50 hertz i think america is using 60 hertz but so we will go for the 
most common which is 50 hertz okay so we'll be using 50 hertz so if we have changed this okay let us give the fns voltage as ac here and what will happen if we play now let us observe that using the oscilloscope okay let us click on play at the bottom but you see the frequency is high and the amplitude is very high okay good so now let us let me close this and let us observe here you see how the alternator is now running faster the lamp is now very bright and you can see it is no longer blinking why it's because of the frequency the time it happens the frequency of which uh, the ac the alternator is alternating it is 50 hertz 50 hertz so it is running faster to the point that this is coming on and off on and off on and off faster to the point that human eye cannot detect it that's why you're using this and some of these are lamps that are, we are using bulbs that are that we are using in our homes okay um we see that it is bright like this and it is connected to ac in reality it is blinking or they are blinking on and off on and off on and off but it is so fast that our eyes cannot detect what is happening so that is what is exactly happening here also so now let us look at the waveform again go to debug come to down which is digital oscilloscope and let us observe so let us reduce the amplitude and also this time around we have to increase the speed if we increase the speed then we will see clearly what is happening okay so the speed is now being increased okay and then let us bring this down and then let us increase the speed a little bit so you see the way how see see how it's moving let us reach out a particular mode Okay, now let us adjust it at this point. You see, this is positive half. This is positive half cycle. This is negative half cycle. So if we are to check the voltage, by checking the voltage, you can use the cursor. Okay, click on this cursor, and then you point at any part of the um, any part of the wave. Then you can determine the voltage at that point. Okay, so this one, the voltage here is almost. 115 voltage okay look at it here one one 115 voltage okay and then here it is minus 115 voltage okay this is the negative half cycle so it will go minus one plus 115 voltage then it will go minus 115 voltage so that's how it has been alternating and if you want to click at this point you can ch just if you want like 111 voltage click there and that cursor will be le left there then this other one also if you want to check the voltage at this point you can just click you see this happening now to clear you just have to right click and then you say clear all cursors you clear it off if you want to print this one you just have to right click and then you say clean uh, you say to print okay then it will show you option on how to print if you want it to be printed the waveform okay now maybe like we cannot see clearly from here now we want to expand this um the window this setup we want to expand this graph we want it to be to for it to look bigger you just have to right click and then you come to window size so from window size let us say times two a little bit bigger so click they said the new size will take effect after restarting the simulation press ok now you stop stop and then if you press play again boom this window will appear like this okay 
so now let us see it's, as you can see the voltage here at this top here it is 115 voltage okay at the top it is 100 almost 115 voltage and then here it is minus 115 voltage so here's our one voltage we can get to our one voltage so you can click at any point to check for the voltage that you want okay now for this dc you see the dc line here is five voltage for dc okay it is five voltage as we can see okay so if you want to print it out you just have to click on print and then you go ahead and print the size you want okay if you want to resize it again come to let us say times one okay and then when you want to move from this part either you close from the top here or you just press on the escape key on your keyboard click it twice then it will move from that point and the simulation will stop so if you want to play again you play this time around we'll put it as times one so that is auto so this is what i have for you today if you haven't subscribed to our phonics yet yes yeah, so i kindly click on the subscription button just smash that red button and subscribe to phonics and make sure that you share this content if it's helpful to you to your classmates you share it with them so that they will also get the benefit of it okay and if you have any comments or any questions just leave them in the comment section below find time will respond to you as early as possible okay so Thank you for being with Aphonics today.